hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue our code igniter crash course series so now in this topic we are learning about routes okay so what is route and how does the route works and why we should use route we are going to see in this series so guys now let's get started so in previous video as you saw that we have created a controller called page controller which was the part 3 and we executed this pages right so we executed this page controller and saw the output of it okay so for like page controller forward slash index if you call so you can see that the function has been called here right and now I wanted to show I w how we are using the route in this guys as you can see that page controller forward slash index this is not looking good okay so to call the perfect route and all you have to call a route for it so guys now let's set the route for it so let us go to our applications folder inside application you will see a config folder where inside config folder you will find the routes.php so let us click on that and you will find something like this okay so let's uh, just ignore all these things and let's create a route so as simple dollar route route array is equal to inside single quotes you will call your controller so now guys you are going to call the page controller so page controller page controller at index will be as home we will tell so let us tell that home and for this home we will call the page controller and its method called index okay so if you are not understanding let me just copy this and paste it over here okay let me just comment this so same thing you are going to copy and paste it over here right done so once you paste and this is the route and then guys you can call the same route over here very simple so guys now let us call this route called home so let me just copy and let's go and paste it over here so let's remove this and paste home so guys you can see that home url where you are calling i am index method page controller so you can mention that over here if you have doubt you can add one more thing home in url you can tell this okay so you can confirm that home in url so it's perfect so guys, this is one method and now we will check out with this about us also same thing so if you want that same method you can copy and paste and you can tell this about and you can mention this as about okay so this about is nothing but this controller it is about us so let us copy this about us control c and paste it over here simple let's call this url and see with this demo also let us see cool so i am about us page so guys now you are done with this routing thing and now the third thing which we want to pass parameters so like for example we will take a products okay so the products i mean to say okay so in this page controller you will pass a product thing not products because we need to create a controller so let's okay so now we will create a route with the example called blogs okay so let us create one more route called route route where we will give blog okay over here now we have to pass the parameters so let me just call this and paste this again and here we will mention that blog where forward slash dollar i not dollar i it's one actually dollar one sorry for that okay now over here you are going to pass the uh, any parameters which you are going to bring in it so let's type any over here let's remove it okay so it's sent now now guys we have to fetch this so let us just set the blog at your function so let's create a, uh, let's go to our page controller where blog function will be created so let me just create the function 
So let's type function where your block function will be there and your data over here. So you can tell this as uh, ID, blog ID or whatever you send, blog URL you can tell, blog URL where if it is condition is null will give null okay if there is no data means will mention as null and now you can echo the output so let's echo this blog url so let's copy it and save Control s and now let's call this as per your routing so let us copy this blog and mention here blog and you can see that page 404 page not found okay so let us give forward slash and type anything like blog one hit enter so you will you are finding that blog one cool so guys uh, this is how you pass the parameters and get your blogs okay so this is dollar one make sure you are putting dollar one this is the method how we pass in coding nighter so now let us go back to our uh, blog over here if you don't push anything it will show you an error like 404 found it is telling right i will show you one thing like let's call load view load view okay so inside this let's dollar this oops dollar this load view so your file will be called blog and there is no data i'm not going to pass any data so let me just create a blog page you can tell this as blog view also blog view okay because blog view let me go to views folder so inside this views folder i'm going to create one new file called blog view.php hit enter and your page is created and you can tell in h4 tag about the blog okay so blog page save this and now let's reload this page and see so let us just reload this okay so let me just pass anything as wade you can say you are in the blog page wade you are calling it right so simple and clear so now guys what we have sent over here is like anything whatever you send it's coming over here right you're echoing that data as in your function okay so guys now only we want to use only number or like only i want to pass ids so those ids you can mention in another format like uh you can mention like blog edit so blog edit will be num so over here you can see that so num you can pass that and you can tell this function where blog edit and create the function okay so you can pass in this method so let me just comment this one and we will see the output for it so let me just remove this also blog edit and you can pass this one okay so let us copy and only pass the numbers so i have given numbers now so let us include this alpha and see what's the status now so let's enter so it's telling page 404 found and now let me just give any number digit so you can find that integer values right so if i pass 12 also it will come right so whatever only numbers things should come so guys in routing you have came to know about these things so guys this is all about routing things which uh, the main focus is all about designing your url structure okay so for the url purpose only we use route and clear understanding things so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share